With it finally being winter, I decided that a cold Project Zomboid challenge is in order. And this time, instead of your usual cryogenic winter, I wanted to create a scenario where the weather itself becomes a looming threat that will kill the unprepared in minutes. Anyways, welcome to my nuclear winter challenge, where we will have to deal with the bitter cold, and if that wasn't bad enough, also battle with radiation, toxic fog, a lack of resources, and anomalous storms. Not only that, but it seems like the radiation itself has been affecting the zombies in a not-so-fun way, evolving them to be stronger and smarter as the days go on. And even if we do kill the zombies, they will get back up once more after a day or so, making proper disposal and burning critical to our survival. So let's huddle up, start a nice warm fire, and prepare for the storms ahead. With how stacked the cards are, we're gonna need every bit of hope we can get. Hello there. I would love to talk and introduce you to our situation, but right now I am freezing to death fast. All you need to know is that it's very, very bad outside, and I need to move quickly. We're starting with a bandana, a single Geiger counter, and a hand torch, and that is all that we're gonna have. And priority number one right now is to get some layers. Quick! So, um, yeah, today we are joined by Coleman Bruggs, a normal guy doing normal things in a not-so-normal circumstance. I'm gonna wear as many layers as possible, and hopefully we're gonna be able to get enough clothing in this building here to, uh, to not die. And I think that's all the zombies indoors. So let's go wear this jacket and I can actually introduce you a little bit better to our circumstances. There we go, we're no longer freezing to death indoors. Outdoors, it's a different story. But um, somehow, someway, a nuke has dropped and uh, plunged the world into a very, very cold and not fun area. There's toxic fog, radiation, and zombies that will constantly evolve and uh, revive themselves. So matter of fact, what I'm gonna do right now is just take a couple of preemptive measures and, you know, shove these random corpses inside trash and bags alike. It does take a day or two for them to revive, but being proactive on that doesn't hurt at all. This is a pretty terrible spawning location. Absolutely no food in the kitchen. And lastly, there's a laundry room that doesn't have anything. Okay, we don't have much at all. But the one thing we do have is human spirit. Good old Coleman Bruggs here is strong, athletic, a hunter, a fast learner, and a runner which should hopefully help us out once the zombies start to run after a certain day. They're not gonna run right now, they're all gonna be relatively weak, so I can easily bully them, but after a certain point, it is gonna get very bad. And uh, the one notable negative trait is that we have radiophobia, so if I get irradiated, that means I'm gonna get extremely panicked, for good reason. And a um, matter of fact, let's go attach our Geiger counter to our belt right now. Overall, not that bad, but it does seem like we've uh, eaten up a couple of rats, which is not good. Oh, it is extremely cold out there. I'm gonna need to plan this out. <laughs> I am barely warm enough to continue any further. So I think the way we're gonna have to do this is just hopping from house to house before the cold can catch up with me. So let's see if we can make it over to that shack to try to grab a weapon. Oh, you got it, buddy. That horrific wind chill is nothing on you. Okay, we're in. We got nothing inside here. I don't know a lot of things, but the one thing that I do know right now is that we have spawned in Riverside, and I think that building right up there is gonna be the school, which is not a bad target. For one, we could get bags. Two, there's books. And three, there might be a nurse's office with medical supplies. So I think it's uh, Coleman's best chance right now. I don't need to be too scared of the zombies, as, uh, you know, they're slow, stupid, and weak. At least for another seven days until they figure out how to use their leg muscles. So these two, no problem. Ah, bah. See? No problems at all. And now that we finally made it to the school, I can look around and cross my fingers we get lucky. I'm gonna mainly be looking out for batteries and extra layers to put on our person. We are only chilly, with it being a solid 23 degrees inside, which is not the worst. That's actually really good. Especially when you compare it to the outdoors with it being negative 32 degrees. Ugh, at least we're not gonna die from hypothermia. And not only will we not die, but it looks like we're about to thrive. That's a nice little duffel bag. 
don't mind if I do. It kind of goes with our uh, jacket as well. Yeah, we are really rocking green today. <laughs> and it looks like we do have a couple weapons in the gym. A nice baseball bat. Not bad at all. What else we got here? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course I'm going to take that. All in one little spot? Really nice. Uh, is the rest of this building cleared out? Uh, looks pretty safe on my end. I'm going to worry about that later. For now, let's go check out these lockers and I'll let you know if I find anything nice. Books and a beanie? And is that a spiffo flashlight? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's probably not as good as my handed torch, but I mean, you gotta rep the merchandise when you see it, right? And that also gives us another battery. Yeah, it does the same job, if not better. And while I'm at it, I will be taking that beanie. As much as I did like the bucket hat, the beanie has a lot better insulation for it, so it'll be worth it in the long run. Ooh, we even got the nice sneakers as well. And here we got an empty classroom filled with a dead corpse and a couple of bags on the floor. And is that what I think it is? <laughs> now that, that is a nice backpack. And even though the duffel bag is better, I think we rock the drip. I mean, if Coleman is going to die, we're going to die with a nice backpack. All right. So the main thing for me right now is to try and find any food and or water. I need it bad. And so far, we have not found any at all. Just random flashlights for more batteries. We got a couple pens. I'll take one. A zombie horde that definitely sees me now. All right, bring it on. As I've been saying, these zombies are no threat to us yet. Um, it is only day one, so expect the difficulty to get a lot worse when they start developing superhuman senses and uh, start running at me like crazed freaks. But before that happens, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be chilling very nicely. Get out of here now. Bada boom. That's all of them. And it looks like the storm has also subsided. Zombie group aside, I did spot a nice police officer zombie with a nightstick and a revolver with around four bullets. That's actually really nice for us, and I am going to take that. If you can't tell from the cross here, I decided to add in another little mod that makes guns a little bit more useful in order to balance out how rare I made the weapons and ammo. And all it does is add in an actual physical representation for a bullet so I can manually aim and hit zombies in the head without having to rely on RNG. I'm not going to showcase it right now because shooting a gun would be ringing the dinner bell for, for me. But for now, we just got to focus on looting. So far though, it's kind of looking like a bust. Whew. Okay, little update. I spent most of the day looking around the area and what I found is kind of pitiful. <laughs> we found a 10 garbage bags, a single battery, pop, and some dirty rags. When I mean the loot is extremely rare, I mean it. Uh, and usually I wouldn't be this worried, but our character is hungry and thirsty. Thankfully, we can cover the thirst for today with our pop. But the bad thing that I am going to need to uh, figure out soon is that uh, most of the water in sinks and in these uh, water dispensers are tainted. So I'm going to have to boil and sterilize the water myself if I want to drink anything. Two, it's getting extremely late, which means I'm going to need to sleep. And there are a lot of corpses littering this place. So I'm going to go loot the rest of the first story, grab as many garbage bags as possible and shove the zombies inside said garbage bags so we can prevent them from resurrecting. Uh, the more we do that, the better things are going to be. And I think we could probably spend the rest of the night inside the break room. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and comfy in here. And then I can figure out how to deal with my other basic needs in the morning. For now, I, I need to start disposing these damn things. <laughs> They're all over the place. Just pick up the corpse and shove them right into these uh, garbage bags. We can find out a better way to dispose of them later. You know, this is kind of like a very impromptu bandage fix, so I don't get jumped in the middle of the night while I sleep. And it works. So let's do it to the rest of the zombies in the area. We have a bunch of bags, so I'm not really worried about that. And finally, I can rest for a little bit 
and pop open the single pop. I'm gonna drink half of it right now. I'll drink the other half in the morning. Ugh, oh, this rationing is gonna get really bad. But despite that, we have survived yet another day. Welcome to hell. We've killed 39 zombies so far, and I still need to secure this damn place. We secured this upper half pretty well, but down near the cafeteria and near those entrances, I was a little bit more sloppy. And instead of putting them inside garbage bags, I mean, they, it does look very nice to see like all the zombies all wrapped up like a little Christmas gift. I think it'd be better just to shove them inside lockers for now, and then I can, you know, Figure out the rest. There's so many zombies though, and I still need to like look after a lot of this area. Like this spot here, the nice nurse's office. Which has a lot of supplies. Antidepressants, sleeping tabs, and more importantly, potassium iodide, which lowers my radiation. Matter of fact, I should probably go check my radiation levels. It's still sitting at a solid 8.1. So I am not worried. I'm gonna mainly turn those on whenever we come across, uh, storms or the like, because they could be irradiated. Uh, really good to have medicine this early, though, which means I don't have to really worry about, uh, clearing out the pharmacy just yet. Which means all we gotta focus on are these zombies which keep on finding their way inside. It is exhausting, but I'm sure it'll be worth it for a, a secure school. So what I'm thinking we do right now is just go clear out most of the zombies and then we'll find out ways to dispose of them after. Oh, there's so many. Matter of fact, it's the same ones I killed entering this damn school. <laughs> yeah, it, you, you really can't give them a lot of time to gestate or they will just come back and be another problem for you later. But all that matters is that we are slowly clearing it out bit by bit, step by step. That is really gross, ma'am. There we go. <laughs> and there's another police officer. And now I just gotta go shove their corpses in lockers. Do any of you have uh, any way to start fires? No, not yet. That's fine. Into the locker you go then. And don't mind if I do grab that key off you, ma'am. Thank you very much. You can keep your nightstick on you. I got a, a, a bunch of baseball bats still, and all I'm doing is just filling up each and every one of these lockers. It's a good thing they got two per tile, which means two bodies per, uh, per locker. At the very least, when we're done here, I won't have to do it again, as I did disable respawn. So it does kind of uh, help out that we do clear out the zombies early while they're weak and establish a safe area, as that means we have a general safe zone that won't be filled with super zombies later. I really wanted to create a challenge where time and uh, setup really does matter, so it does feel nice knowing that our little, uh, little contributions now will probably save my life later. <laughs> After we're done here, I am gonna go check out the, uh, the upstairs, and then finally, we can take a look at the library. Okay, I think that's most of them. I think there are a couple in the area that are, you know, lingering around, but we can find them later. I really don't want to waste any more time, as our, our basic human needs are kind of kicking our butt right now. So let's see, uh, really hoping we get some kind of like junk food inside these desks and or soda, preferably soda. Oh, we got chips. Okay, okay, okay. That is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Just in time as well as our character is uh, currently very hungry. We also have foraging volume one and metalworking volume one. At least we won't be, uh, out of reading material for a while. I'm gonna eat those chips right now. I, I we can't be afforded it. And I'm also gonna drink the rest of our pop. <laughs> there we go. It's the little things that count. Screw you, ma'am. Where did you even come from? Oh, it's a good thing I kept my eyes peeled. Now, we are out of, uh, water, so that is another thing we're gonna need to worry about. Crossing my fingers, we get some soda, and even if we don't, my next, uh, goal is gonna be reaching the, um, the Gigamart, which should have some basic supplies for us. Ooh, we also have some cookies! Okay, good thing those don't ever, uh, degrade. 
Hell yeah, and all these flashlights are gonna be extremely nice. This is a very battery-based run, so finding those super early is really, really, really good. Almost as good as finding chocolate in that previous desk that I almost forgot to mention. Uh, any soda though? I would really like some. No. Oh, and it sounds like we're interrupting something. Hello? That, that, I think that's, I think that's right across. Oh, that person is really going to town, whatever they're doing in here. Hey. Wait, there's nothing down here. Is it downstairs then? Hey, cut that out. Wait, I think they actually did. Hello? Where the hell are these things? Are they in between the bookshelves? I think they are. Hey, over here, buddy. Get out of there, I can't see you. What the hell? Oh, okay, there's, there's, there's a zombie down here. That is really wigging me out. Like, I know there are corpses in here, but what the hell? Well, I guess they did shut up, so that's all that, that, that's all that you can ask for. And it seems like reading material in here is gonna be good. I'll go sift through, like, the important stuff later. I really don't have a lot of reading on my mind. I'm mostly concerned about food and starving to death, but it, it would be nice to, you know, get like a nice generator magazine. No, no gen mags, of course. One could wish. Anyways, don't mind me as I go ahead and finish what I started by looting the upper floor. Ah, oh, it's a nice day out though. Uh, how's our radiation looking? Still 8.1, beautiful. I don't think we need to worry until it gets like to the thousands. And is that all the zombies out here? I'm gonna go check out the vehicles real quick, why not? And also these two zombies, uh, they're gonna be shoved inside this trunk because I really don't want to bring any trash cans over. These baseball bats are putting in a lot of work, I will say that. Anyways, into the pits you go. There we are. Do we have any food inside these glove boxes now? That's, that's a, oh, 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 oh. A, a key with a little bit of gas? Okay, even better. Maybe I won't shove random zombie corpses in here. <laughs> It don't have much feel to it, and it looks really banged up, but that is a nice boon for the future. I may have to whip this baby around to the Gigamart later. Wow, this thing really sucks, huh? But it, but it sucks in a good way, I guess. Ooh, and we have ourselves a lighter. Okay, that's awesome. That That's another thing that I really needed. Wow, we are, and this one has a key as well. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, why, did, why don't I get lucky in any other of my runs? Uh, matches too? I'm really glad I decided to check that out. Hell yeah. And a first aid kit with a suture needle and bandage. Yoink those two. And then we can finally finish what we started while munching on some chips. Delicious. Okay. I accidentally went through a window trying to dispose of the corpses out in the front. You hate to see it. But it was a good thing we decided to go loot the, uh, <laughs> loot the nurse's office. It shouldn't take that long to heal because we can disinfect it. That is a little bit of a bummer, though. At least we didn't have gloves so nothing got scratched up, you know? And you know what? Give me that varsity jacket. I want it. It has a little bit more insulation, and it's also in better in condition. So, thank you. Uh, your prize? Uh, the same fan as the others, right into a bag. <laughs> Tagged and bagged. Boom. Finally, I can breathe without the uh, fear that zombies will resurrect and hunt me down in the middle of the night. And look at that. We got another free granola bar. Oh, this random assortment of junk food should keep me well fed. Actually, not well fed. Alive until I can make an, an expedition out to somewhere that's a little bit more promising. Um, anything in here? Soap, sponge, tailoring, clips. Nope. Another bar of chocolate, a red and blue pen for map marking capabilities, and finally looting this room marks the end of us searching the school. So I think it's safe to say that this area here is now our home until further notice. It's nice, spacious, the only thing I really need to work on is uh, sealing it. Especially if toxic fog comes around, I'm gonna need a, you know, an air sealed place that I can 
set up a nice campfire for warmth to boil water. Other than that, though, oh, this door's actually barricaded. I'm probably going to need to break that down because having a rooftop access would be nice. But I think this would be a good spot to end the episode. We killed, let's see how many, 69 zombies surviving our first day and 11 hours. We still have a lot of problems. So I think what I'm going to do next episode is try to reach the Gigamart in search of food and or pop. Other than that, I would really like an axe, a hammer, basic tools and supplies like that so I can start to make my own campfires. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode so far, be sure to like, favorite, share and subscribe for more. I'm pretty hopeful for this series and it's only going to get harder as the days go on by. The zombies are going to get stronger, they're going to get smarter, and they're going to get a hell of a lot more scary. Anyways, this is Private Lime, out.